Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day and happy Easter for those of you that celebrate Easter. Uh, I just want to go ahead and do a quick video. Uh, this is a Castles video. This is something, one of the games that I've been super high on uh, recently, especially uh, with everything that they have going on, plus what they have in the future. As you saw from my other videos, this is top five uh, games, I believe, is on Wax right now. Um, so I wanted to do a video around that because if you're in the Discord, like with every single wax game, there's a lot of FUD that's going on. So I wanted to, one, kind of counteract that FUD, and two, give some tips, some things that I'm seeing in the game right now that can help you really uh, advance your step, especially if you're on the lower budget area. If you're a whale, you're probably going to skip over this because you probably have a ton of everything that I'm going to even mention. But if you're on the lower budget area, uh, it's a game that's still very, very good to get into. And there's a lot in store for it. But before I go ahead and dive into all the details, I want to go ahead and say, uh, make sure that you understand that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Please make sure you do your own research and make sure your own decisions before you jump into any games. All right, now that that's out of the way, let's go ahead and dive into it. Starting off with a key thing, um, there's been plenty of other videos on this. Uh, I've mentioned probably about three or four other videos, so I'm not going to go too far into it. But wanted to throw a reminder out there that the Carpenter event is going on. It is a key event for the next few wonder crafting events. Uh, so if you you want to get any of those wonders that have some huge benefits, you're going to want to be involved in this crafting event for the, the Carpenter. It's for 10 more days. Uh, you will have a chance to go ahead and not only craft Carpenters, but also get some really cool rewards. Every time you craft a Carpenter, uh, you get a, a, a ticket, a lottery ticket, that gives you a chance to win one of these awesome prizes. I think there's 380 some prizes here, uh, all with very good value. The lowest value one is 20 wax. The highest value is in the thousands of wax. So it's definitely a cool event that they're doing. Um, the other thing, and thank you to who uh, corrected me in the comments for my, my video on Friday. Uh, the first 1,600, I think it was, tickets are tradable so you also have the opportunity to go out and in the secondary market and buy a whole bunch of extra lottery, extra lottery tickets to boost your your uh, chance of winning so keep that in mind anything that was crafted after that 1600 is not tradable it was an issue with the the, the ticket itself um when they when they initially put the the template out there that's been corrected so this is a limited chance where you can actually go ahead and grab some extra lottery tickets during these events. So that's, that's another way that you can go ahead and grab and in, jump into it. The The chances will actually be better uh, with this crafting event than it was for the, the Lumberjack event to, to win something. Lumberjack, there ended up being over 10,000 crafted. Uh, let me just do car. I did not do this ahead of time. Right now, as far as Carpenters crafted, there is only 4,204. Granted, by the end of this, I it'll be maybe in the, the six to 7,000 range, possibly more, who knows. Um, but it, you'll still have a better odds at winning some of those, those prizes that I had talked about than for the Lumberjack one. So keep that in mind when you're doing it. Um, now, let's, let, now that we've gone through the, the update of the Carpenter event, um, let's address the elephant in the room. There's been a lot of FUD in the Discord. Um, if a lot of it is unwarranted. A lot of it is probably people from other projects jumping in just to try and be trolls. Some of it can be actual concerns. I, I get that. Um, so let's let's address some of this. Every single game at this point, once you get past that initial honeymoon phase and that the token starts to dip a little bit, there's always FUD, no matter what. Everybody thinks that any price should stay high as possible for as long as possible so you could win as much or get as much money as possible realistically on wax that is not true there is a peak and then there is a dip and during that dip is where you have an opportunity especially if a game is a long-term game like castles let me just show you a, something that they posted in the discord this this plus a few other things that I'm going to mention show that this they are thinking long term with this. They are not cutting and running. Uh, they are really focused on making this not just a few month game, but a, a years of gaming. 
Um, first is instead of just, there's a lot of games that are out there that they have their development team, they're sticking with that development team, no matter how long it takes to push out updates, they're not update, they're not adding to their team. The team's already doubled in April, I, and I assume it's going to continue to grow. So they're actually putting more bodies in seats to develop more content for us. Second, their budget, um, and the two and four, I think, go together quite a bit. Um, their budget is is higher um, as far as what they're producing and also what they're overall developing. $2 million budget, which is big for any WAX game uh, that they've pushed into here. Plus, they're, they're doing a lot of a lot of focus on marketing, a lot that I'm seeing many other games, not just marketing from a go out to Nefty and uh, have a banner out there to make sure that everybody knows about it. This banner has been up here, this one, and they had another one up here for a long time. It's been up here for a long time, like like week plus. Um, most other banners you see are up there for 24 hours, then they're gone. They're trying to get the marketing out there. They're, they're trying to communicate and they continue to do it, not just here, but they, they help influencers. They, they are very active in the Discord. It's something that you don't see from a lot of games. Plus, in the background, they're actually doing the development. It's not all lip service. They, we saw with what's coming out for Dungeons in the AMA. So this is something that, that unfortunately, FUD is going to happen. It's always going to happen, whether it's warranted or whether it's trolls. Um, what people that believe in the game can't focus on the FUD without looking at both sides of the picture. And I think a lot of the FUD is unwarranted. Yes, EM source price is going down. But look, think about it this way. We just had a major crafting event that was burning a ton of M source. Obviously, the M source went up during that event. When that event ends, it's going to go down a little bit. They've already said M source is going to be a big part of the future. There's obviously going to be burning when you need to refresh your lumberjacks. So you had to expect the price to go down a little bit. If you didn't, then you're obviously not looking at uh, economics in general. <laughs> if there's high demand, the price goes up. If the demand is reduced because of a crafting event ends, it's going to go down a bit. So keep that in mind when you're reading the FUD in the Discord. Um, don't jump on it. Don't don't be chicken little and say the sky is falling. There's a lot more to come with castles. We already know that there's a bunch of events coming. We uh, Carpenter goes all the way to the 26th, then the next event, then the next event, and then dungeons, and then events with dungeons. Uh, lots to come with this. So go ahead and comment down below um, some of the highlights, some of the things that you're most looking forward to for the Castles game. Something that you are super interested, me personally, uh, obviously the crafting events. I've, I've said this about a thousand times. I love the limited time crafting events that stack. In addition, the more I hear about the dungeons, the more and more and more excited I get about the dungeons. So those are the two things that I'm super excited that are coming here in the near future. All right, enough FUD talk. Let's talk about a few tips if you're a, a lower budget uh, person that's looking into the game, to get into the game. There's a number of things that you can do right now. Unfortunately, Lumberjacks uh, is, is not the best entry point that it was uh, two weeks ago when I created the budget video. Obviously, you can go out and you can grab one off the market. Um, and and on a, oh, honestly, they've talked about potentially trading in the, uh, Lumberjacks. I may actually grab a few of these Lumberjacks, especially as they're getting lower, because there is going to be a future event where you can trade them in. They haven't provided any details of what you can trade them in for, but th I'm surprised it's getting low. And if it gets under the 10 wax range, I'm probably going to grab a few of these Lumberjacks, just the potential of the future event that, again, no details around it. But having said all that, the next events that are coming up, um, one is is right now the carpenter craft crafting event in order to craft a carpenter you need nine lumber and two seals it may be worth it to you to go ahead if you don't already have a lumberjack grab some of grab some of the items not necessarily off of this market um even though lumber is and i was hoping to get there it, lumber's relatively expensive look at the atomic or look at the alcor market if we go over to alcor um, 
it's cheaper to buy the lumber off of Alcor. Let's go M lumber. You go to M lumber. Uh, I did that wrong. C lumber. <laughs> Sorry. C lumber. There it is. It's actually cheaper to buy lumber over here than it is on uh, Atomic Hub. Uh, it is almost eight wax for the cheapest. If you go over here, it is you can get a bunch um, for under seven wax. Probably, if you put it here, you can probably get it closer to six wax. Grab nine of those. Grab a few seals. Do a carpenter. Rinse and repeat if you want to. Buy a few more, and then you can actually, without having a lumberjack, you can prep yourself for this uh, courthouse event, which will give you passive wax in the future. That's one way that you can still get into castles at a decent price. Um, it's not as good as it was a few weeks ago, but it's still a good price. Another thing that you can take a look at is you can still buy lands, and land price is going down, and it's going down because there's more and more that are happening with it. So it may continue to go down. I'm not saying it won't, but you can get some passive source, of, passive M source, which will be used in the future also. But when you look at lands, make sure you look carefully at lands. If you go and buy a farm, bunch of farms, uh, you're gonna actually gonna be paying more for farms than if you would go up in rarity. It takes three farms to go ahead and craft a ranch. Look at the price here. Three farms would cost you 60 wax. Just grabbing a ranch costs you 48 wax. Yes, you're trading off the blending possibility at a bonus. That's, that's yes, but it's a gamble. So if you want a sure thing at a cheaper price, go ahead and buy for 48 wax a ranch. Uh, also, if you go ahead and jump up a little bit to uh, the next level, which is a village, this, again, it's a bit of a discount. It's much more of a discount than, than grabbing farms and using your M source to blend it up. The thing where it breaks even right now in the market is when you get up to an epic. The epics break even uh, based on the villages. Um, so keep that in mind. So what you want to do before you buy lands is go through, go through these and do the math. Um, don't just sit on a common and, and hope you're going to blend and get that bonus because it's going to be cheaper to get an uncommon or a rare and go that way and also you save the M source. So these are the little things, especially if you're on a budget, you want to take a look at. There's going to be more in the future. As I mentioned earlier in the AMA, uh, earlier this week, they're going to have budget-friendly heroes that you can use in the dungeon. So they are trying to both be budget-friendly and also cater to the whales. Granted, if you go budget-friendly, you're not going to have as many benefits as the whales. Understand that. But there's options. A lot of games go one side or the other. Krypton is an example. I uh, love the concept of Krypton, but it it's, was at the point where you need a number of miners and, and warriors in order to just sustain your 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 uh, whatever your, your place in the game. Uh, Castles is trying to do both sides, and they're actively going that way. So yes, there's going to be FUD. Some of it may be warranted only because the M source price went down, but there's a reason the M source price went down. It's because of uh, all the good things that we just went through as far as the lumberjack crafting event. So go ahead and comment down below. Um, I, I want to try and do more of these, not just the white papers. I think the white paper reviews have a a good place in in videos because it introduces you to more games. But again, I'm continuing to try and do the budget friendly uh, recaps. I got a few more that I'm planning to 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 push out there because I know a lot of people like those. So I, I hope you all enjoy these kind of videos. I hope you're all, if you have any interest in castles, go ahead and jump in there. Um, let me know uh, what you like, again, in the comments down below, what you like about castles, what you're looking forward to. I hope you all have a fantastic Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Thank you and have a great day.